What's good, fam? Welcome to Black News Speaks. I hope everybody's doing it right today. I ain't putting, y'all ain't seen me in a while. I didn't put no videos up because I didn't feel like it. <laughs> I didn't want to feel like doing it. I was just like, mm. you know. But what we're going to talk about today is something that correlates with all three of these topics. So three people got their truths out. But I think the one person that got their truths out I don't know, came out a little bit more victorious than the other two, basically. I think the other, well, the, the other person got their truth back, but it just seemed like this person just always got, like, the wall against them. Now, let's, let me explain, okay? Because we, we've all learned this lesson, not just on social media, just in out just outside life in general, okay? So we can all take something from all of this, okay? So... Let's talk about Hong Bing for a moment. So, you know, I talked about him earlier this week. You know, his his you know, his tactic was very um messy. It was sloppy. Um, he was inebriated. I'm telling y'all, you know, some folks just can't hold hold stuff, <laughs> you know, like in, in his case, he just he can't hold his liquor. And, you know, he went out here and said some things that uh, that sometimes you just gotta say to yourself in your mind, you know what I'm saying? Like I said drunken words or sober thoughts and he just went out and just like said what he said he was you know he was out here just doing it i'm sitting here i'm not gonna lie i laugh i thought it was funny because he was he was all over the place i'm like this is hilarious look at look how animated he is and then i was just like he is going to get in some trouble and he did you know but he put his opinion out there and he expressed it and people got mad and for me i'm like he was being human he made a mistake he messed up he apologized chill back off Okay, we've all done that, you know what I'm saying, and I'm glad that Ann and Leo apologized on this behalf. I'm, I'm glad he apologized because he knows that his homeboys, you know, after what he did, gave him the piece, the, the people's elbow. So I'm like, okay, y'all know that um, Robbie and Taman are practically besties because you already know they were like, okay, you're not gonna have your homeboys sitting up here talking about shiny, you know what I'm saying? So I will get him when I come back to the crib. You know, they already had that talk, so they're good. You know, this was a big learning experience for him. I guess he was trying to do too much and he did way too much. So that was one lesson that we can all learn. Like some of y'all get on here, just be out y'all mind on whatever you done took that morning or that night. And you come over here and you talk your mind. And the next day you look at the video, you're like, I can't delete this. Everybody has screenshot it. That's how it works. Even when we do little rants on Facebook or Twitter. Or Instagram, any other type of social media. The next day, we're just like, ah. we have diaries and journals for that. It's what we do. Some people don't like to do that. Some people just like to broadcast a whole existence on YouTube or Instagram. I don't know. And be like, well, this happened today, and I'm going to. That's like, dude, we know I don't care. I know that sounded kind of mean to say, but at the same time, some people just get online just to put out grievances that are not even that big. And I know it may be big to them, but I'm just like, girl, you just dropped your cupcake on the ground. You'll be all right. You know, um, stuff like that. And it like it spirals and spirals and spirals and people looking at you like, why are they getting on here telling their business about their baby daddy and they they all their kids and they food stamps and they like you know illegal tax returns like stuff like that you feel me like you can't do stuff like that just you can't put everything out there some things is best left unsaid and just you know what i'm saying i think home home been learned from this now luna luna from the group formerly known as fx you know, this girl, I love her, but it seems like she can't catch a break. She came on TV and she spoke her truth. She was like, she felt so bad about Sully's passing. And, and Sully called her before all this happened. And she said she loved her and missed her because after Sully left FX, she lost all contact with her. And that was her first time speaking to her. So I know that made her feel good. And then when everything happened, it just like... Oh, oh, that's a lot. 
to hear somebody's voice the last time before they pass. That happened with me. I listened to my brother's voice. <sighs> I'm sorry, y'all. He called me two days before, and I'm just like, ooh. My brother recorded his voice, though, so I can just hear it all the time. I'm sorry. When you think when you think about that stuff, it kind of make you like, dog, oh, man, you miss him. But she heard a voice, and you know, it made her it made her so happy. And then she passed, and it just it it it, it, it hurt her a lot. And she talked about that, and she talked about you know her other friend in the industry that passed the same way too. Unfortunately, in that matter, her parents got mad and said that Luna had no right to put her images or anything like that on TV like that from the estate. I don't think she knew. I think that the TV people knew and did it. I don't know. Either way, she got in trouble for it. And I really do feel bad for this girl because the girl can't win for losing. Even when she was in this famous group, she was still getting knocked down and kicked over and everything. People was just giving her all types of mess. Like she even she she said that she um, suffers from anxiety and like severe depression, like really bad. Because you know people called her fat and ugly in the group, and she was nowhere near fat or ugly. She was like healthy. She was beautiful. Like she was she was an eighteen nineteen at the time she joined that group. She's still growing and developing. Like come on, and you know. People said her sound changed, and it did change a lot, and her style changed, and the reason it changed, and let me tell you why it changed, because so many people got on her about her weight and stuff. She lost so much weight for a lot of people. She didn't lose it for herself. She lost it just, I guess, to make herself feel good because everybody was coming at her. I guess her style and everything changed about her, about herself. And people were still coming down on her. And I felt like, dang, y'all want her to do this. You want her to do that. You want her to do this. Like, what do you want from this girl? Knowing that she suffers from all this stuff. And then this, then the stuff that her parents, her, you know, her homegirl's parents said, it just made it worse. It's just like when she left SM, she thought, okay, I'm going to, everything's going to be all right. It's still not all right. It's just like, they just, the girl can't win for losing. And she's such a talented individual. That girl can sing. And, you know, this was a mistake that shouldn't have happened. But I, oh, I pray it's resolved. And um, I just want her to know, just keep your head up, girl. Just just keep your head up. Everything's going to be all right. Um, I just feel really bad for her because that girl just be going through it like... Man, it's just like she goes through so much. And it's just it's just so bad how she just can't to catch a break. You know what I'm saying? She can't catch a break. Now, the last um thing I want to talk about, the last person, we're going to talk about old girl from Fiesta, Cheska. Now, this came out um, earlier this week. So, it was a long live, but I was like, let me just take some notes. Cheska told her truth. And the way she did it, she wasn't like lit up by her mind. She was just like, okay, let me just spill it out. And I like the way she did it. She was like real as it is, real as ever. She was like two girls, you know, they bullied me in the group. One other girl we was cool. The other one was two-faced. I was like, yo, called her a two-faced bitch. And I could believe that. And the girl that she called two-faced, I don't like her no way. Because she took her behind the Hello Counselor and said it was okay for her. Oh, for this lady that was on the show that needed help, said it was okay for her husband just to treat her and mis mistreat her and down her any way he felt like it. And I was just like, ugh, girl, you just, yeah, that. But, um, yeah, man, and she's like, I don't understand why old girl came from China to Korea in the first place because her family was rich. She was like, she wasn't really even that good of a singer or a dancer or a rapper. Like, why are you here? I was just like, yo, <laughs> tell truth, save the devil. I'm talking about I was getting my life. And then she was like, um... She was saying that the company told her to lie and said she was from America. She was like, I ain't from America. I was born right. 
here in Korea. We immigrated to America when I was two. The only reason they used me as a rapper because of my English skills. And I was like, keep talking, keep talking. <laughs> like, I was just like, let it out. She was, she also said some very, um, some sad things too about, let's just say when people's consent was not in, um, in this situation and she was taken advantage of, let's just say that. And I feel really bad for her because I was like, dog, like people are just trash, man. And, um, she's like, don't believe the hype. About these girl groups being friends, especially SNSD, they're not friends. I can believe that. I can believe that. I can believe that. I don't, I don't give a crap what nobody says. Oh, they get along with their sisters. No, they don't. That's a front. If you believe any of these girl groups or boy groups are tight like that, there's a 45%. There's like 45% of these groups are actually like this. Okay, I fit the... 40, 48%, um, I'll just be generous, of these groups out here are tight with each other in real life and they're cool. The other percent, no, mm -mm, they ain't trying to hear it. They're like, mm, bye, leave me alone, got my face, leave me alone, stay away. Chris, Mexo, he even said that they were my coworkers. I was trying to get my chick. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You tell the truth, shoot. Mess. But, you know, she was out here telling a whole bunch of truths about how people in the industry don't do right with contracts and paying them. And it was just really, really bad. And I was just like, girl, you better go ahead and tell the truth and uh, nothing but the truth. And I'm glad she got it out. Now, the other girl that said that she was bullying her put on her little Instagram just like basically saying it's false. Don't believe it. I'm just like, girl, won't you make you a little video? Won't you make you a little post? If you really sure that you didn't do it, just be like, I ain't do it. Girl, that little post don't mean shit on your Instagram. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> I believe she did. I'm sorry. At this point, I believe them two actually did it. I had to. Had to do it. I know there's two sides of each story, but come on. Boy, she was out here just giving all the tea. And this one, only one girl was like, false rumors. The other girl was probably like, man, I don't care. See, I'm just... <laughs> The other girl is like, mm -hmm. what should we say? We need a statement. They ain't gonna say nothing. They ain't gonna say this is this is this is great. See, she out here telling her truth. Maybe they didn't do nothing to her, for, but look at it, I think they probably did because I'm just like, man, you let that little small ass clap back, girl. You better say something. You know what I'm saying? It's 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 basically in the midst of it all. You know, be careful what you use in certain scenarios, situations, especially on social media and going public with stuff. Just be careful of your tactics. Be careful what you say. Just be careful. Just, just be careful, man, because people out there are mean and they're, they're not nice at all. You know what I'm saying? They're just out here to, you know, not be good people to you. You feel me? But anyway, I'm going to get off here. I love you guys. You have a great day. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Um, yeah, man. Um, wash your hands. That's all I can say. Wash your hands. And um, sanitize yourselves. Y'all already know what I'm talking about. It's hit here. And all we can do right now is pray and just do the right thing and learn um, good hygiene procedures, basically. Okay. Love you guys. Love, peace, increase it. All right, fam. Peace.